Now that I've picked the hair out into its natural state, I'm going to take the number two guard and I'm going to debulk the sides. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to make it easier. Once I begin fading, I can see what I'm fading. So I, I really don't recommend you trying to fade into a lot of bulk because you may get lost or you may get overwhelmed by, by trying to fade the hair that way. So see what I'm doing here? I'm just creating a smooth canvas and it'll make it a lot easier for me to blend. Also, if you're new to this channel, in the top left hand corner, you will see all of the guard numbers that I'll be using. So whenever I change a guard, it will be annotated in the up, upper left hand corner. Okay, to get just a little bit closer, I took the one and a half guard and the lever is fully closed, I believe. Yes, the lever is fully closed and I'm going just a little bit closer. So now I can really see what I'm blending. Okay, now I'm getting ready to put in my initial ball guideline. And I'm going to do this all the way around the head. And when you... You don't have to put your line in like this, but to me, it just makes for a smoother workspace. But when you're putting this line in, you don't want to dig with the clippers or with the trimmers, excuse me. You just want to lightly tap at the line that you're trying to make. You don't want to create a hard line because then that'll just be extra time that you have to spend to get it out. And some people wait to do this step to clean the hair up, but I just like to go ahead and get it out of the way. Some people wait to the end, but it's all up to your preference. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna create a one inch guideline and the lever is fully open on this clipper. Okay, now you see me fully close the lever and I'm going to begin erasing that bottom guideline. And yes, my clippers are adjusted. I just moved them up just a little bit so it can erase that any ball line that I put in. They're not exactly zero gapped, but they are adjusted. And then here, I'm just gradually opening the, the lever. And you always want to keep a comb into your hand. So that way, every few strokes that you go with the clipper, you go back with the comb, just to comb the hair back into its natural position. Okay, now we take the number one guard, and we're gonna create another guideline. And the lever is fully open. As you can see right there where I'm fading it, he has his the, his bone structure. Everybody's bone structure is different, but he just has a more dominant bone right there. So you just have to work around it. Nobody's head is the same. Okay, so now we close the lever with the number one guard and we get, we begin to go under that one open. So the steps with the one guard is open, closed, and then halfway. I'm gonna say that in every video until you guys get it. It's open, closed, and then halfway. So now we're going halfway. I went open at first, I just went closed, and now I'm going halfway. And depending on the hair texture, you'll probably have to go back and do a little touch up work here and there with certain spots, just because the hair, people's hair density is different with every client. So it just depends on the hair texture. And with the half guard, the steps are halfway and then closed. So under that one closed, you're gonna go, you're gonna take the 0.5 guard and go halfway and then you're gonna go closed. And you can see how the hair has blended.
Okay, and now we're going to close it. Okay, now we're gonna take the 1.5 guard. And with this type of fade, he doesn't want it to look boxy. So I'm gonna leave a little weight on the side, but I also don't want it to look like it's just bald and then dark. I still want it to have transition, but he doesn't want it to look too boxy. And right here, I'm just using the clipper over comb technique just to get rid of some dark spots that I see. And by the way, he has a very, very coarse hair texture. So you just have to attack the hair with the clipper just a little bit more. Coarse hair is usually a resistant hair type, but you just have to just keep, if you keep fading it, I promise you the hair will eventually cut. You just have to make a few more passes with the clipper. And then in the back of the head, we're just going to repeat the same exact steps. Now, one thing I will say about fading in this area, especially with the occipital bone, a lot of waivers, I know this is not a wave haircut, but just something to be wary of, a lot of waivers, when they wear a do-rag in the occipital bone area, it tends to make the hair scrunch up and it begins to grow in a different pattern. So if you're ever fading someone, if you're doing the same haircut on someone with waves, you just have to be a little bit more careful and aware of how the hair grows. So I just want a tip that I thought I'd throw in for you guys. And as always, the best teacher is experience. So as I always say, find someone that will let you do this haircut, pull up this video and just go step by step. That's the only way you'll learn how to do it. You can watch this video all day, but until you actually turn on those clippers and do this technique yourself, you will never learn how to do it. So don't be scared. You know, there's nothing to it but to do it. So just find someone that'll let you cut it and do this haircut. Notice how I'm using my thumb to make, to create tension, so that way I can get a tighter blend. So you always wanna stretch the skin. Well, this is just a tip that I use. I always stretch the skin when I'm fading. To me, it just gives me a tighter blend. And once again, we're using the clipper over comb technique just to make everything flow. And then here we're just gonna shake the top just a little bit. We're not really cutting a lot off. We just wanna just make it clean, nice and neat. I'm going to style this at the end, but you still want to, regardless, you just wanna make sure the hair is even.
And before I do this lineup, he has a little bit of overhang. So I just want to take the clipper and just lightly trim over the area. Just so I have a smooth surface to line. You can, you can kind of see that overhang that I'm cutting off. You'll be surprised at how much longer this will make the haircut last. <laughs> and now we're going to proceed on with the edge up. Notice how I'm not really digging. I'm just trying to get it nice and sharp without over exaggerating too much. When you're doing the arches on the side, the best tip I can give you guys is just to use the corners of the blade. You don't really need to use the entire blade when you're doing the corners because it's more so of like an etching technique. It's almost like you're drawing with a pencil, except you don't have an eraser. So take your time. That's why you really need to take your time. And I am a big advocate of using the razor. It just adds the extra, extra crispness to the haircut. It also makes it last a lot longer. You can get an extra three, get an extra three days out of a haircut easily with the razor. And here, just for style, I'm just gonna add a little curve part on the side. It's nothing too drastic, just something subtle. I didn't wanna go overboard since it had been so long since he had a haircut. I just wanted to give him something simple. But also something that makes his haircut stand out just a little bit. Notice how I'm using the corners of the blade. And I'm just applying a little shave gel and I'm gonna go behind it with the razor just to make it pop out just a little more.
and you saw me come off the residue just because you don't want to you don't want to make a false line so whenever you make a pass the first time with the razor you always want to comb the hair away and do it again so as i said his hair is very very coarse so i just added a little water and some oil sheen just to try to soften it up before i curl it but as you can see you can see how resistant his hair type is so i'm going to add just a little bit more water <laughs> They also have a new version of this uh, twisted up comb, so I may need to try the new version out just to see if it'll make his hair comb up just a little bit more. But here I'm just putting on the finishing touches. And here is the end result. Let me know what you guys think. If you were new to this channel and if you got value out of this video, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.